back, guys. I'm going to do a quick little review of this uh, on box that everybody keeps uh, uh, getting and having trouble uh, connecting to Ethernet. I'm going to show you a little uh, trick to get it to work. Uh, of course, first you got to go buy one of your, uh, uh, you got to have an Ethernet adapter cable to do it. But uh, you hook up an Ethernet adapter cable and uh, restart the uh, restart the box, unplug it, whatever you have to do. Uh, it's supposed to uh, uh, connect automatically, but it doesn't. So here's what you got to do. There's a couple of tricks you have to kind of trick it into. Uh, connect into Ethernet adapter. Now, once you trick it once doing this, it'll, uh, it'll uh, connect it the whole time, but you have to, uh, of course, you have to be a developer. Everybody knows how to do that. You can see right there, I've got developer options enabled. Uh, just watch a uh, video on how to do that, and you can watch a video on how to connect it. But uh, uh, there's just, I think, two videos on how to do this. You go into your you get it all connected, then you go into your settings, and as you can see, my uh, network uh, Ethernet is connected, my Wi-Fi is off. So, first thing you do is just get it all connected, turn your Wi-Fi off. Then, here's the trick. You got to get into your, let's see if I can remember how I did this. You get into your developer options, and you can see mine's turned on. And you go down to your select uh, USB configuration. Now you can see mine's, ch mine's not charging, but you got to change yours to this right here. Uh, RN, yeah, it's really easy. Just change it and then go hit your back button. Um, now, they say that you can just restart this and uh, it'll connect to Ethernet, but it won't. What you have to do is, you've got to go back into, you've got to go to your developer options, and you've got to uh, disable this uh, uh, developer options, and then restart it. And then every time you restart it from there on, even though it, even though this will say that it's charging, see how it's, it always goes back to charging for some reason, it will connect. So uh, just a little uh, tip for you guys, because I, I don't think it, there's one video on how to do this. There should be about 50 how to do this, because everybody's gonna be buying these boxes when you, uh, when the fire stick, uh, uh, changes their system if they ever do and even if they, even if they don't uh, uh, These boxes are 19 bucks at uh, Walmart, but they're a little laggy. I, I mean I have a, a shield that uh, You know works about 50 million times better they're, they're these are laggy and sometimes it restarts itself for no for for no reason, but uh, anyway That's gonna help you guys out. I, I hope it helps uh, you know like they say in all the other videos, uh, subscribe. I don't know why uh, Google demonetized me for some stupid reason or something. Who knows? I don't, I don't care. Anyway, I'm just trying to help you guys out with this. Uh. So anyway, that's that's my video. Hope you get it to work. If you have any questions, just uh, hit me down in the comments. I'm, I might try to answer them uh, if I ever get time, but. Uh, that's it. Good luck with it. Catch you guys in the next one. And also I've got an affiliates link uh, for Amazon uh, down in the description if you'd like to pick one of these up.